sponsored by Bet365. Welcome to round two of the Mitsubishi Estate Rugby Championship. I'm Adam Fry, bringing you all the tips, of course, from Tux Tips, brought to you by Bet365. And last week, the Wallabies, a lot of promise there, played pretty well for the first 60 minutes, and of course, All Blacks beating Argentina. I hope you took my tip last week with uh, Argentina and the line. But for this week, we kick things off on Saturday, 5.30 here, Eastern Standard Time, where the All Blacks are taking on the Springboks. Who knows in this game? Always close in this first one with the All Blacks and Springboks, and I think it'll be close again. Uh, I don't think New Zealand are too far ahead of the field. I think they're going to ease their way into this World Cup year and not looking at big results. But I like the look of the Springboks last week. Big pack, just really monstering the Wallabies, who try to hang in there for about 60 minutes. And they're Back line, it's a fresh back line. They are resting some players throughout the year, so who knows? And when you're resting players in different combinations, that's where upsets come. I do think the All Blacks will win this one, though. I think they'll win by the 1-12 to margin and still the red-hot favourite to take out this year's title of the Rugby Championship. So go with New Zealand, but if you want that value, take them with the 1-12 to line. And the big match at Suncorp Stadium, farewelling Will Gennier, and he's had such a great career, and it's good that they're sending him off on a high in Brisbane and saying their farewell, where he's from in Queensland, but the Wallabies, looking at their team, they've picked Michael Checker. He made so many changes in 2000 and team in that World Cup year. I think on Rugby Nation, Ian Payton was saying around about six each test in that starting lineup, but he's consolidating his thought now. Big ins for them, Christian Lealiafano, and what a story that is. Will Genia comes back into the starting lineup, probably one of the best halfbacks in the world, so that's a big in for the Wallabies. And then James O'Connor on the bench. So James is, hasn't played a lot of International rugby for some time. Michael Checker is certainly going to give him a chance. and He'll play some minutes in the back end and he'll come off the bench. Maybe they're in the 10 roll, but we'll have to wait and see. But the Wallabies, they should win this one against Lost Pumas. They are heavily favoured there at about $1.50. But this Lost Pumas team, even without their inspirational hooker and captain Crevy, I think they're still going to be a force to be reckoned with. And they are such a nation on the rise. It is going to be a close match, no doubt about it. They got it on the Gold Coast. This week, they just desperately need a win. They're expecting about 30,000 people, the biggest Argentinian crowd in the rugby championships in Australia in their history. I think the crowd will bring them home. Queenslanders, they love their rugby, and I'm sure they're going to love this Wallabies performance. I'm going to go Wallabies. I'm going to go big. I'm going to go 13 plus. I think they're just there for the taking, the Argentinians, and I think the Wallabies are primed for a big result. So if you're going to have a punt this weekend, please do so responsibly and stay tuned here for all the highlights, match reviews, and live radio on rugby.com.au.